So dear students, the present topic is on adductor canal. Adductor canal is otherwise called as subsartorial canal. And it is also known as Hunter's canal because uh, it is named after an anatomist and a surgeon at London whose name was John Hunter. And uh, during the surgery for the treatment of popliteal aneurysm, the ligation of femoral artery was done in this adductor canal. So that is the reason this uh, canal is called as John Hunter's canal. So let's see where it is present. So adductor canal, it is an intermuscular space on the medial side of the thigh below the sartorius. So it is present below the sartorius and it is the continuation of femoral triangle above and it opens up into the popliteal fossa below. So the length of the adductor canal you can see it is 15 centimeters in length and it opens uh, into the popliteal fossa via the adductor hiatus and above it continues from the apex of femoral triangle. So extent of the adductor canal it extends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the tendinous opening of adductor magnus which is called as adductor hiatus. So that is about the extent of adductor canal. Let's see the boundaries of adductor canal. It is like triangular in cross section having an anterolateral wall. Anterolateral wall it is formed by vastus medialis. Anterolaterally it is bounded by vastus medialis. Posterior medial wall. Posterior medial wall it is formed by the adductor longus and adductor magnus. Adductor longus above and adductor magnus below. And let's talk about the roof or the medial wall. The medial wall is formed by a fibrous sheath connecting the anterior wall and the posterior wall. So the roof is the fibrous sheath. So the green colored structure is the fibrous sheath. And the sheath is overlapped by a muscle called sartorius. So just beneath this sartorius it is in the fibrous sheath like between the fibrous sheath and the sartorius we can see the plexus of nerves which are called as subsartorial plexus. Subsartorial plexus these are the subsartorial plexus you can see uh, several nerves here thin nerves. So subsartorial plexus are formed by saphenous nerve, medial cutaneous nerve of thigh and anterior division of obturator nerve. These three nerves together form plexus called subsartorial plexus. Let's talk about the contents of this adductor canal. Uh, contents are the femoral artery which is the chief content. And its branches, branches of the femoral artery are also seen in the adductor canal. Then descending genicular branch, superficial saphenous branch runs along the saphenous nerve. So we can see nerve to vastus medialis, descending genicular branch, superficial saphenous branch runs along the saphenous nerve. So here is the... And we can also see some muscular branches which are given by the vast to the vastus medialis and uh, other uh, muscles which are supplied by different nerves. Then femoral vein which is along with the artery and here the bone is the femur which is the thigh bone. This is the anterior side and here is the posterior aspect. So the femoral vein lies posterior to the femoral artery in the upper part 
and it becomes lateral to the artery in its lower part and we can also see the saphenous nerve which crosses the femoral artery from lateral to the medial side and nerve to vastus medialis lies lateral to the femoral artery so these are the contents femoral artery and adductor canal and we can see the vein which lies posterior and then becomes lateral femoral vein and we can see the crossing of saphenous nerve and other muscular branches so the nerve to vastus medialis is also appreciated with supplies vastus medialis muscle which lies lateral to the femoral artery nerve to vastus medialis and two divisions of obturator nerve uh, are also uh, seen anterior and posterior division anterior division gives off a branch to form subsartorial plexus which are along with the femoral artery posterior division of the obturator nerve runs on the anterior surface of the adductor magnus along with the femoral and popliteal arteries and ends by supplying the knee joint after piercing the oblique popliteal ligament these are the contents of the adductor canal so moving on to the applied aspect ligation of the femoral artery it is done in the adductor canal during the surgery of popliteal aneurysm so what is the aneurysm when an artery is branching usually at the site of the branching if there is a weakening of the wall of the blood vessel forming a balloon like outpouching is called as aneurysm so if such popliteal aneurysm is seen along the popliteal artery so to correct this popliteal aneurysm we need to ligate the femoral artery to prevent the uh, hemorrhage so the ligation of the femoral artery is done in the adductor canal during the surgery for popliteal aneurysm so this completes the adductor canal which is short but very important in clinical aspect thank you